Hi everyone, it's Charlie Tutoring here. Today we're going to be looking at the integral of cosine 5x in which 5 is raised as a power for cosine. So how we're going to approach this integral is we're going to split it up into cosine 4x times cosine x and then dx. So what we want to do here now is we want to rewrite the cosine 4x as cosine squared x to the power of 2 multiplied by cosine x, again dx at the end. And now what we want to do for this next step is we want to rewrite this cosine squared x in terms of sine. And the way we can do that is by looking at the identity cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. If we rearrange this identity for cosine squared x, we get cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. So knowing this, we're going to substitute this in for cosine squared x right over here. So when we do that, we get 1 minus sine squared x squared times cosine x dx. So now what we want to do is we want to do a u substitution, and we want to do a u substitution using sine x. So we're going to say u is equal to sine x. And if we take the derivative of both sides, we get that du is equal to cosine x dx. If we rearrange for dx, we get that dx is equal to du divided by cosine x. So now if we substitute this all in our equation, I'm sorry, in our integral, we get 1 minus u squared, and all of that is squared, times cosine x du divided by cosine x. Now we see that these two cosine x um, values, they cancel. So then we have 1 minus u squared squared times du, <clears throat> not sorry, just du, not times du. And then if we expand this 1 minus u squared to the power of 2, we get 1 minus 2u squared plus 4 um, u to the 4, and then that is, again, du, all of that. And then if we go from here, we know, oops, we know that the integral of 1 is going to be u, and then we know the integral of um, negative 2u squared is negative 2u to the 3 divided by 3, and then u to the 4 will become, when we take the integral of that, it will become u to the 5 over 5. <clears throat> and don't forget plus c. And now our last step is to substitute back for u. Again, if we go up, we recall that u is equal to sine x. So if we go back and substitute all of this, we get sine x minus 2 sine to the 3x divided by 3 plus sine 5x over 5 plus c. And that would be our final answer. I hope this was helpful. If it was, feel free to check out the rest of my interval playlist. And feel, sh feel free to like and subscribe below. That's it for this video. Thank you so much. Bye.